In this video, we'll be learning how to solve a typical exam-type question involving exponential equations along with quadratic equations. Now, we're given this equation to solve, and that's 2 to the power of x plus 4 over 2 to the power of x minus 5 equals to 0. Now, to solve this, the first thing we're going to need to do here is get rid of this denominator, this 2 to the power of x. And to do that, we're going to multiply each of the terms in this equation by 2 to the power of x. Now, doing that would lead us to 2 to the power of x squared plus 4 minus 5 times 2 to the power of x equals to 0. And I'm just going to rearrange this so that all the 2 to the power of x terms appear first. So that would be 2 to the power of x squared minus 5 times 2 to the power of x plus 4 equals to 0. Now, the thing to pick up on here is to see that we actually have a hidden quadratic equation. Now, what I mean here is we can see that we have the format x squared minus 5x squared plus 4. Although it's not x squared, it's 2 to the power of x, you should be able to see that we have some form of a quadratic equation going on here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to define a new variable, which I'll call capital X, and I'll say, okay, let capital X equal to 2 to the power of X. Now if I rewrite this equation using capital X, it'll look something like this. Capital X squared minus 5 times capital X plus 4 equals to 0. And now this is just a regular quadratic equation, and we can solve this. And the best way of solving this particular equation would be to use factorization. And if we do that, we find the following. x minus 1 times capital X minus 4 equals to 0. That leads us to x minus 1 equals to 0, or capital X minus 4 equals to 0, leading us to two possible values for capital X, which would be capital X equals to 1, or capital X equals to 4. But we don't stop there. Remember, capital X was 2 to the power of X. So, this leads us to two possible values for 2 to the power of X, namely, 2 to the power of X equals to 1, or 2 to the power of X equals to 4. 2 to the power of X equals to 1 only has one solution, which is X equals to 0, and that's one possible solution and 2 to the power of x equals to 4 leads us to x equals to 2. And that's the second solution. So we've just solved this exponential equation using quadratic equations. Let's look at another example. In this particular example, we're given 4 to the power of x plus 2 over 4 to the power of x equals to 3. And to solve this one, the first thing we're going to do is get all of the terms of this equation on the same side. And I'll gather all the terms on the left-hand side. So, subtracting 3 from each side of the equation will lead us to 4 to the power of x plus 2 over 4 to the power of x minus 3 equals to 0. Now, we're going to do exactly as we did in the previous example. And we can see that what's annoying us here is this 4 to the power of x on the denominator. So to get rid of that, what we'll do is multiply all of the terms in this equation by 4 to the power of x. And that would lead us to 4 to the power of x squared plus 2 minus 3 times 4 to the power of x equals to 0. Rearranging this, gathering all the 4 to the power of x terms at the very start of the equation would look like the following 4 to the power of x squared minus 3 times 4 to the power of x plus 2 equals to 0. And now, just as we did before, we're going to define a new variable and we'll say capital X equals to 4 to the power of x. And using this capital X, we can rewrite our equation as capital X squared minus 3 times capital X plus 2 equals to 0. And once again, we find ourselves facing a relatively simple quadratic equation. And we can solve this using factorization. 
and if we do that, we find that we can write this as capital X minus 1 times capital X minus 2 equals to 0. This leads us to two possible solutions. That would be X minus 1 equals to 0, or capital X minus 2 equals to 0, leading us to capital X equals to 1, or capital X equals to 2. But now remember, capital X was 4 to the power of X. So, we actually have the following two possibilities. 4 to the power of X equals to 1, or 4 to the power of X equals to 2. Now, 4 to the power of x equals to 1 has one possible solution, which will be x equals to 0. So we've already got one solution. And 4 to the power of x equals to 2, well, ask yourself, what power, to which power, do I have to raise 4 to get 2? Well, we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So in other words, 4 to the power of 1 half equals to 2. That's 4 to the power of 1 over 2 equals to 2. So x equals to 1 half. So we find that this equation has two possible solutions. x equals to 0, or x equals to 1 over 2. And there we go. That's how we solve this type of exponential equation.